Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you a few nice tricks you can use while you're drawing sketches in Onshape. Now, I've already started a sketch on the top plane here so we can jump right in. The first thing I want to show you is some nice ways of making curved lines. It's pretty easy to make circles, but circles aren't the only kind of curved line you're ever going to want to make. Sometimes you might want to make a line that's just part of a circle, or you might want to make a curve that can't be part of a circle that's completely different geometry. There's a few different ways of going about that. You can use... there's a few different kinds of arc here. I think I like the center point arc best. You start this out like you're making a circle, and then make the circle as big as you want it to be, and then you get to draw out whoop, an arc around as much of the circle as you want to. So let's say I want about a third of the circle. There. That can be kind of nice, that could be useful sometimes. Or if you want to make, and there's some different kinds of arcs like this that let you specify it in different ways. And you could even make, this kind isn't really even part of a circle, you could make a parabola. Like if you've ever graphed quadratic equations in algebra class, this is exactly what that's like. So you could make conic sections, parabolas, like that. Or, I think this might be my favorite, you could use splines. There's a few different kinds of these, too. Or, these are also called Bezier curves, if I'm pronouncing it right. That's a French fellow's name. It starts out looking like you're just drawing a line, but then the first time you click, that just adds a bend to the curve. And you could add as many of these bend points as you want. And at each one of those, the curve can bend around a little bit more. And you can make all kinds of geometry that way. That's kind of a nice boomerang shape. I'll get rid of that to show you the next thing. The um, trim tool could be kind of important, too. This might be another way... Let's say I have a circle here, and I want to cut a slice out of it. Let's say I want to go in whoop, whoop, like that. I want the whole circle, except I want these straight lines to be part of the wall, and I don't want this part of it out here. I could use the trim tool, these scissors up here. There's some other things that are kind of related to it, but I'm just going to show you the trim tool right now. And if I click on this section of the circle right here, blink, all gone. It gets rid of the line over to the closest intersection points. So that can be handy. And let's say I don't want it to be a sharp point inside there, I want it to be blink, like that. Go up and get the trim tool again, and bloop, bloop, all gone. Now it's exactly what I want. And then the last thing I'll show you, get rid of the trim tool, is the offset tool. Let's say I don't want to extrude this whole um, cutout circle shape. I just want to extrude a thin wall around the outside. I, the easiest way to do that is with the offset tool. If I pick that and then draw a box around this whole thing, now I can decide it can place sort of a copy of the same lines at a variable distance away. So I can go on the outside, I'm clicking and dragging. Or on the inside, let's say I want to go on the inside. Get done dragging and click again, and then it'll ask me what that distance should be. Let's say 0 0.125, one eighth of an inch. There. Now I have my nice offset, and just to show you that worked, I'll go out and extrude just that wall portion. There. So you might find that kind of useful. So there we have it. That's some, some nice tricks you can use while you're drawing sketches. There's a whole bunch more I didn't show you, but that should get you 
most of the way to where you need to go. Thank you.